So then guys, this is probably the best leak I have heard in a long, long time. It definitely looks like Apple are going to be creating a new MacBook SE model and it's going to be super cheap for what it is and it's also going to be quite powerful for what it is. So today I want to go over the details about this. So let's get started straight away with the leak that we've had in all about this. This leak has come in from Minchi Kuo who's been quite a lot of a reliable leaker over the years and he is saying here that Apple are looking to make a cheap budget like a MacBook SE model but the big twist here is that it will actually have an A18 chip inside of it. It will not have the likes of an M chip like how we have right now the M3 and the M4 kind of models out there in Macs and iPads. So it's going to be an A18. But there again, we have also had another leak in very recently, soon after this, telling us that we could actually be getting the A18 Pro put inside of this MacBook. Either way, the A18 or the A18 Pro is still a very powerful chip to actually have. And if you know anything about the A18, well, this is actually available inside the likes of the iPhone 16 and also the iPhone 16e. And it is a great performance chip out there. Now, what it is quoting here, it will not be the Pro chip. But to be deadly honest, what the Pro chip does to the compared to the normal A18, it's ever so slightly faster, not by a lot. And also, at the same time, you've got that extra GPU core to give a bit more performance there for, say, graphical kind of tasks out there. But really, the A18 and the A18 Pro are very similar. So to get the A18 inside a MacBook is going to be super awesome to see. So the next big question then with this is what kind of MacBook could this actually be delivered in? Well, most likely, I believe it's going to be like this design that you're seeing right here. This here is the original MacBook Air design. So this was the one that had the M1 chip inside of it, and then before that had Intel chips inside it from 2018. And this looks like the MacBook Air, what Apple are going to be using, this design of the MacBook Air, the previous gen, and they're probably going to put that A18 inside of it. But the next question you guys are going to ask is what about the release date and the price for this MacBook with the A18 inside of it? When's it going to come? Well, even Minchi Kuo, going back to the kids, even told us this. He's saying that it looks like Apple going to ramp up production near the end of 2025, and we could see the release of this A18 MacBook coming out at the beginning of 2026. That is less than a year from now. And this is super exciting news to hear that this is going to be a budget sort of MacBook coming out. Now, I say budget, and the reason why I say that is personally, I believe that this MacBook is going to start out probably around about 599 US dollars. What is super cheap for what it is. Now, the reason why I say 599 US dollars is take a look at the likes of, say, the iPad Air right now, the one that has the 11-inch display. That has a touchscreen, also has an M3 inside of it, so an M3 chip inside of it, what is way more powerful than the 18, and that's 599 US dollars. So, you know, if we're going to get an A18 chip inside of it, what is less powerful and also refreshing or rehashing an old design, you can imagine that Apple are not going to charge, you know, through the earth, for this. So I personally think that 599 US dollars is probably going to be the kind of sort of asking price for this new kind of MacBook Air or MacBook SE what is going to be coming out next year in 2026. And something else was going to come out way before 2026, and that is the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this right here. So that's right, guys. We have a new giveaway. We had the last giveaway for the likes of the MacBook Air with the M4. We've got a winner there, and we've got the new one now. What's going to be happening at the end of September time this year in 2025? And this iPad Pro, what I've got right here, is what's going to be given away. It's actually a 13-inch 
model. And then also we have one terabyte of storage inside of this. So that means you're gonna get 60 gigabytes of RAM, the full WAC, the full fat M4 inside of it. And it's also got Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel at the end of September time. And all you have to do to enter into this giveaway is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear you're still planning to get in 2025. Maybe it is going to be a new MacBook, one of these new ones that are gonna come out soon. Maybe the new ones that are gonna come up with the M5 inside. Maybe it's gonna be an iPad. Maybe it's gonna be an iPhone. Well, just let me know in the comments below. And the other thing as well, guys, the second part of the giveaway is also gonna be happening near the end of September time, where I'll be making a video giving you even more details about it, including a form to fill in too. So you've got to keep an eye out for that near the end of September time and also giving you when I'm going to do the live stream to give away this new iPad Pro right here. Now, the other thing I'd recommend you doing is making sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because you'll want to know when that video is going to happen. Plus, you want to be a subscriber too because obviously I'm giving this away to a lucky subscriber. The last thing I just want to quickly say to you guys that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonate me, tend to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram messages. Please do ignore these people. Better to see right here. Please do report them. So moving on then from this, um, what about performance then? I'm saying it's gonna get the A18 chip inside of it and you might be thinking, well, that's a really, really weak chip to put inside a device like this. Well, I'm actually gonna say that's a little bit incorrect there. Have a look here. I've got a comparison of the A18 to the likes of the M1 chip, like this MacBook Air I've got right here. And you can see that the A18 in single core performance for Geekbench is way ahead here. It is definitely better. And then in multi-core performance, it's around about the same. It's very similar, it's slightly less. But one thing you've got to remember here, what's a big difference with the A18, we've actually only got a likes of a six core CPU setup. We have four efficiency cores and two performance cores. Whereas with the likes of say the M1 chip, well that has four efficiency cores and four performance cores. And yet with just two performance cores and also those efficiency cores, yet you know with the A18, we've actually caught up to the likes of multi-core performance with the M1. was absolutely amazing. We've also got a smaller nanometer technology, you know, with three nanometer versus five. The A18 has three and then the M1 has five. Then on top of this as well, the A18 consumes around about 12 watts of power at its maximum, whereas the M1 consumes around about 18 watts at maximum. So for battery life, this is going to be a star. We're talking probably about one third or 50% more performance than what we have over the likes of the M1 in its battery life, but yet giving us faster single core performance and around about the same in multi-core performance. Now, the other things I'm also gonna shout out there is more than likely it is gonna come with eight gigabytes of RAM. So that is one thing that maybe that might be something you might want to think about there. But this is the point. This new MacBook, what is gonna come out, the point of it is that it's gonna be not gonna be a screamer. It's not gonna be designed for full on video editing with raw files and things like this. It is gonna be a device that you take to college, to university, uh, you take to school, and you just use it, as it were, to browse the web, do simple daily tasks. It is not gonna be designed for doing 3D modeling, hardcore photo editing. You get the idea, it's gonna be for this kind of sort of base kind of task out there. And this is gonna be absolutely amazing to actually have this. And especially, like I said earlier, I'm expecting the price to be around about 599 US dollars because this just makes sense there because obviously that iPad Air, you know, has the 11 inch display. Well, it's slightly smaller, like I did say, but obviously that M3 does cost more to produce. It is more powerful and everything there. So I can just see that this is what Apple are probably gonna plan here with this MacBook. It's gonna be costing around about 599 US dollars, maybe a little bit more, but not much more than that. And this is super exciting to see. And with that then guys though, it's also time to wrap up this video. Is this a MacBook that you would love to get your hands on? Well, let me know in the comments below. And with that as well guys, it's time to wrap up this video to. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care.
बाय बाय